weight loss is just falling off me because I'm going to corner and just eat all those worries away. I said no to a brownie. Hey guys, so welcome to Wednesday weigh-in. So last Wednesday on March 11, I weighed 514.8. So in my little notes, what I wrote for that day is that I did overeat. I had mashed potatoes, shredded cheese, and peas. For some reason, that whole like recipe, it's not really even a recipe, but it's just really good. I thoroughly enjoy it. And then I also had some peanut M&Ms, but what I would like to say about that is I stopped myself from eating them before it got too bad. I actually gave the rest to Becky. I knew I could easily eat the whole bag and just sit there and just continuously eat them and eat them and eat them, but I did stop myself and it was like a lot of restraint. It was really hard, I'm gonna be honest. So the next day on March 12th, I weighed in at 514.2, so that means I was down 0.6 from the day prior. So this is the day where I noticed that after I have a smoothie in the morning, I get really dizzy. Um, it's something that I noticed for a few days now, but on that day, March 12th, it was really bad and it almost felt like I was actually going to like pass out even though I knew I wasn't. And I think the biggest reason for that might be is because I do do IF where I don't eat for a very big large portion of the day and I think that ending my fast like that with a smoothie for some reason I don't think it's like adding up with my body and it's not really it's, I guess it's not really good for it so I have stopped smoothies in the morning and now I eat things like Luna bars because that has less sugar hasn't made me um, dizzy at all sometimes I'll just have like turkey bacon and rice cakes with like laughing cow cheese on top um, and those things have definitely been making me feel a lot better if you guys hear the water um, it's just running in the kitchen. I hope it's not like annoying or anything. Um, so for that day, like honestly, everything went really well. So the next day on March 13th, I weighed 512.2, which was a two pound loss from the day prior, which this day actually hit down 60.2 pounds. So that's exciting, although I don't feel like super excited about it because like I have other goals I wanna reach. So that was my first day with a new breakfast, which I had rice cakes with PB2 on it, which I actually did vlog. And I really did enjoy that, although I realized while I was eating it, I put too much PB2. So I ended up taking some off and then it was perfect. And on that day, Becky and I talk about how she can help me with binging because a lot of the times when I binge, it's like, I ask her, hey, will you make me ramen? You guys know that whole story, it's whatever. Um, it's not her fault, it's my fault, I'm asking for it, the end. But I told Becky if that ever happens again, I want her to tell me things like, don't do it, you're gonna be mad at yourself, you're gonna feel super guilty, and just kind of be like super, super stern about it. And she has agreed that she's going to do that, so Let's hope it works. So the next day on March 14th, I weighed in at 509.6, which was a 2.6 weight loss from the day prior. So that day I woke up with really bad self-loathing. I honestly just like hated myself. And the reason why is because of my lymphedema. It's been on my mind a lot lately. Normally I just like put it in the back of my mind, like back when I wasn't losing any weight. But now that I am losing weight, it's like parts of my body are getting smaller, but then other parts of my body that have lymphedema, which is my right calf and my lower stomach, those areas aren't getting smaller. It's making me feel super like self-conscious. It's making me hate myself because it's not curable. And I think that's the part that freaks me out the most is I'm always gonna have like a deformed body. And I know it's like a very bad way of thinking, but that's just where I was at on that day. And on that day also, I was getting a lot of messages and comments saying I only lost weight because I was sick. I'll, I lost 50 pounds in January because I was sick. Couldn't eat because while I was sick. A lot of people were saying those things and I was already hating myself so much that day that I was reading that stuff 
and it honestly really got to me because the whole thing about losing 50 pounds in January because I was sick I only lost 18 pounds in January and a lot of people were saying I couldn't eat while sick when I had tonsillitis which was literally only for a week and out of that week there was only three days where it hurt to eat but the thing is I still ate your girl still binged and ice cream was involved a lot of it so I I don't like quite understand that but then once I was done with the whole tonsillitis things I was I was able to get back on track it, it's just confusing because it's like being sick had nothing to do with the fact that I sat there and I would say no to binging a lot of the days like yes in a month when we look at the average you know I I do binge like I'm not 100% perfect but I used to binge every single day now if I look at a month and I can sit there and be like, wow, I only binged four days out of that month, that's crazy. That's because I said no to binging up most to easily 60 times. And that's because I watched what I ate. It's because I ate smaller portions. And it's because I was trying. It's not because I was just like, whoo, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. And weight loss is just falling off me because I'm sick. That doesn't make sense because I have been sick in the past. I have been sick a lot in the past i have had tons of infections and i have done nothing but maintain a very heavy weight or i have gained and gained and gained so it was just very insulting it takes away like all the hard work and i think that might be a really big reason why like oh i'm down 60 pounds but like i don't feel happy for myself because i have thousands of people telling me that i could be doing better and it does mess with your brain I don't care if it was just like one person in my life saying these things to me or if it's a thousand people online saying these things to me. I put in the efforts to lose weight like I never have before. So that is why I'm losing weight. So the next day on March 15th, I weighed in at 507.4, which was a 2.8 weight loss from the day prior. So that was actually the lowest I've ever been at 64 pounds lost on that day. Like, whoa. So this day was particularly hard for me because the whole virus. Um, I know a lot of people are suffering with worry, anxiety. I'm not talking about it. Um, this has just been, it's been scary. Um, it's been sad, it's been heartbreaking. It's just. We've never been through something like this. Um, I'm gonna speak for myself. I'm 29 years old. So in the last 29 years, nothing like this has happened. And I don't know what to expect. I don't, I just don't. It's just the unknown is scary. Everything that's going on in the world right now is like, it makes me wanna just go in a corner and just eat all those worries away, all those feelings away. And I'm having to fight myself every single second not to overeat because when I feel this way, I have always turned to food and it's always made me feel so much better while I'm eating it. And now it's like, I can't turn to food. So I have to like suffer, like literally suffer through the anxiety and the pain and the worry and the tears and just the fear. And it's scary because like, I don't have that outlet no more. So I'm having to find other ones. So I was able to succeed and I did not binge. On that day, I was also being pointed out that I do pay attention to calories. If you guys watched my what I ate today, I didn't even notice it, but in the video I kept talking about calories, even though in the beginning of it I said I don't count calories, I don't pay attention to calories. A lot of people were pointing out to me, okay, why does she keep talking about calories if she doesn't pay attention to calories? So I had to sit down and like really process like, how do I decide what I'm going to eat? And you guys, I pay attention to calories every single time I eat. I make sure that my breakfast stays at a certain amount of calories. I make sure that my lunch stays at a certain amount of calories and my dinner. Um, I'm allowed to, you know, go off base there by like 100 or 200 calories, but it's not like I'm sitting there logging everything and restricting myself because even if I did eat a little bit more one day, it's okay because I felt like my body needed it versus, oh, I just wanna binge or overeat. Like if I, eat a little bit more in a day because I seriously felt like, oh my God, I'm actually hungrier than usual, then that's okay. I think that's what I was talking about when it came to like intuitive eating, but I just appreciate you guys, a lot of you guys pointing out that girl, you do pay attention to calories, just admit it because I do. Because example, when I went to Ruby Tuesday, you know, 
What I originally wanted was something that was like 800 plus calories. And I was like, well, no. <laughs> so I did choose something that was less calories because when it comes to me, if I didn't know anything about calories and I was to sit there and do like intuitive eating, I wouldn't lose weight. That's a point blank period. But since I do know a lot about calories and I do look at the nutrition label and I do pay attention to serving size, I think that's really what's helping me. Next day on March 16th, I weighed in at 505.2. So that was a 2.2 weight loss from the day prior. And my notes on that day is just, I consistently all day wanted to overeat. I wanted to binge my, like literally you guys, my emotions are like, I don't know what they're doing. It's like a tornado is inside of my body and I can't get it out. It's, I know a lot of people are dealing with this. Um, and I do also want to point out that on that day, I said no to a brownie and it was the hardest thing I've done in a long time. And I know a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, you are pathetic. But if you struggle with binge eating or if you've str struggled with like hardcore overeating or food addiction, then you understand how powerful a no is. So the next day on March 17th, I weighed in at 504.8, which was a 0.8 weight loss from the day prior. And I wrote down that I was upset about my weigh-in. I was upset because I only lost 0 0.8. So losing 0 0.8 in one day is amazing. A lot of people wish for that, but for some reason, because I was losing so well in the last few days, like I was down like two pounds and then 2.2 and then 2.8, 2.6, like I wanted more of that. I wanna lose this weight fast because I'm feeling so much better. I just can't even imagine how my body's gonna feel when I just continue losing. And it's just, I just, I want to lose this weight. Like that's a point blank period. So for some reason I was really upset about that. And I actually put a quote down what I said yesterday. I said, everything would be better while in a bed with Ben and Jerry. Because again, another day where I wanted to binge my feelings away. And I literally could not stop thinking about a pint of ice cream. Like it was, it was pretty bad. So that's what a Ben and Jerry is by the way, which I'm sure <laughs> everyone knows. But again, another day of success. Like you guys, I have weeks where I am able to say no to wanting to overeat. I'm able to say no to the binges. I am very strong. But then there are weeks where I'm just not, where I literally am just not strong enough. And that's just part of this process and something that I'm gonna have to continue to accept that sometimes I am weak. But this week, I was not weak. So today, on Wednesday, March 18th, I weighed in at at 503.8 so that means from the day prior I lost 0.6 so that means this week I am down 11 pounds down 11 pounds so that means in total I've lost 68.6 .6 pounds so that means I'm pretty much down 70 pounds because in 1.4 or 1.6 I will be down exactly 70 pounds can we just like wow celebrate so down 11 pounds that's really freaking good i for some reason i just feel like i'm not doing good enough and it is the craziest feeling because in the past i would be like thrilled and like bragging about losing 11 pounds but it's just like i'm not there i used to brag about losing two pounds in a week and you guys i just for some reason just subconsciously mentally i don't know what's going on I just feel like I'm not doing good enough and I think it's because I want to lose more but yet I'm doing everything I need to like I am eating small portions I'm cooking for myself I am saying no to binges overeating so it's like I'm doing everything that I can so I need to just let my body do its thing it'll, it'll lose what it wants when it wants I do need to be proud of the 11 pound weight loss this week and I am and I just, I cannot wait to be in the 400s. I think that's what it is. I think it's because that's like my like goal that I've set in mind is like, I want to be in the 400s so bad. I don't want to ever see the 500s again. So to lose that since I'm 503.8 to, to what I have to lose to get to 400, sorry, I'm like stumbling on my words, is 3.8 or like four pounds. So. I honestly can't wait and I feel like that'll definitely happen this week. I'm crossing my fingers because I feel like 
I'm starting to lose a little less every day now, like 0.6 and 0.8, but I mean, it's definitely possible. So I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and doing everything you can to continue staying safe. We are all in this together and it's scary. And I just hope we get through it. Every time I start wanting to talk about it, I get emotional. Okay, so let's not talk about it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.